it's Laura coming to you from Wrocław, Poland. This is one of my favorite places in Europe as it's been my home for the past seven years and it is the place to visit if you want to feel the European spirit. With people of many nationalities living here, different architectural styles and so much history and culture, Wrocław has to be on your list of places to visit in Europe. It is Europe's hidden gem and you have to come here if you want to experience the true beauty of Europe. And I'm going to show you around and show you all of my favorite places in Wrocław and you'll get to see them from a local's perspective. For this video, I have partnered with Deutschland.de and I became an ambassador of their hashtag Shaping Europe campaign. If you want to win train tickets for your seven day trip through Europe, make sure to watch this video right until the end. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Laura and I make new videos every week and I talk about traveling, veganism, minimalism, learning and lifestyle design. So if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my daily life and the links to my other social media platforms are in the description of this video. Okay, let me show you around. We've got to start from Rynek, which is the main market square. This is a spot that is very popular with tourists and for a very good reason. There's so much to do and see here and the colorful townhouses are just adorable. And I'm going to show you the places that make the main market square really special to me. Wandering around the streets of the main market square is so relaxing and the townhouses are beautiful and the cobblestone makes you aware of how old the city really is but also how much it has developed over the course of its tumultuous history and i've lived here for the past seven years and the main reason why i've been living in Wrocław is the university i studied here i have a master's in english language and literature and here you can see my department building I enjoyed every second of my time at university and what I loved about being here every day is the architecture. Just take a look at the main university building, it is gorgeous. In fact, the museum of the University of Wrocław is located right here in the main building. Now you're looking at the beautiful Aula Leopoldina. And now let's go up to see the view from the Mathematical Tower. And if you get caught in the rain just like we did, you can always grab a cup of coffee or tea in my favorite cafe. Łotkowica and Świętego Antoniego streets are my favorite streets in Wrocław and in my opinion, they are the most beautiful streets in the whole city. This area is home to many cafes and restaurants so everyone will find something to their liking but my personal favorite spots are located right here. The New Horizon Cinema, which is the best cinema in all of Europe, is located right there and a vegan store which has all of your vegan goodies is right over here. And this district is also the Four Denominations District, which means that you can find a few different churches and a synagogue, and you can explore their history and enjoy their beauty. If I were to pick my favorite neighborhood in Wrocław, it would have to be this one. The streets are gorgeous and you can go to so many cafes and grab a meal in many, many restaurants. In fact, my favorite pizzeria is located right here. And don't worry, a video about vegan places in Wrocław is underway. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss this one. And I wasn't kidding when I said that the New Horizons Cinema is one of the best ones in Europe. You can catch the newest box office hits there, as well as very niche indie movies, and they even have their own film festival every summer. And if you're here, make sure to come back later in the evening because you have to check out the neons in the side gallery. 
It's amazing that you can have this modern art exhibit and a synagogue a one minute walk from each other. We are still in the four denominations district, but right here is where the old city promenade starts. This is a pedestrian boulevard right by the Otter River. And you can start walking right here at the John Paul II Square. And you can continue walking by the river and you will see many gorgeous buildings on your way. And there will be a few parks that we will visit. So let me show you all of them. I highly recommend taking this stroll around the main market square because it's a perfect combination of spending time in nature and admiring the views of the city. So the breathtaking buildings that you will see along the way are the National Forum of Music, which is Wrocław's state-of-the-art concert venue and also one of the biggest venues of this kind in Central Europe. The Opera House, where you can catch some opera and ballet performances, including some of the classic ones like Romeo and Juliet and The Nutcracker. And the Renoma department store, which was built in the 1930s and was once Poland's biggest department store. Next, you can continue walking and rest in the old city park. Or you can go a little bit uphill and finish your walk by the National Museum. Ah, isn't this building just incredible? Just look at this ivy! Right behind me is the Cathedral Island, which one, is the oldest part of Wrocław and two, is not an island at all. But every time I come here, I feel like I'm on a movie set or I'm in a fairy tale. You have to see this. The Cathedral Island is one of the islands on the Otter, but it is the most important one, as this is the place where Wrocław began as a city. And I think I will stop talking just so that you can really appreciate all of the beauty of the Cathedral Island. Guys, right behind me is the Centennial Hall, which is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and rightfully so, because it is spectacular. And there is so much to do in this area. You can go inside and see the hall. You can walk around and catch a fountain show. But what if I told you that there is so much more to do here? Instead of going to the zoo, you can check out some of the places that are my personal favorites and that not so many tourists know about. I think you've already noticed that I love movies and the first place that I want to show you is the Audiovisual Technology Center, which was created as a result of the transformation of the Wrocław Feature Film Studio. This film studio produced so many of the Polish classics, such as Knife in the Water by Roman Polanski and Somersault or Salto that you can see right here. And I highly recommend both of these if you haven't seen them already. Right next to the center is the Four Domes Pavilion, which is a modern art museum right next to the Centennial Hall. And you cannot miss it if you're a modern art lover, or even if you're not, I still think you should visit it. There's also a park that you can explore and you can go to the Japanese garden, which is beautiful no matter when you go to see it. But there is one more place that I have to show you that not many people know about, even if they've been living in Wrocław for many years. And this one is for architecture lovers. VUVA, which stands for Wohnung und Werkkaum Ausstellung in German, Home and Workplace Exhibition. And this is an experimental district, which is a result of an exhibition from 
1929. Its goal was to present a new cheap building idea with small and medium flats. And in this open air exhibition, you can see single family houses, a hotel, and even a kindergarten. You cannot miss this place because it transports you back in time and it's all in one area, like the Centennial Hall is so close. You have to come here to see it for yourself. And we've arrived at our final destination, which is the Dunikowski Boulevard. This is a place where many people living in Wrocław come to hang out, to chill out, and to enjoy their evening. And I definitely come here very often when I just want to relax after a long day. And this is the perfect place for me to tell you about a competition organized by Deutschland.de. To mark Germany's EU Council presidency in 2020, Deutschland.de have launched their hashtag Shaping Europe campaign, and I'm an ambassador of their campaign. And I just showed you my favorite place in Europe, which is Wrocław. And I want you to tell me what your favorite place in Europe is. If you want to win one of five seven-day U-Rail or Interrail tickets for your trip through Europe, go to the description box and click on the link that will take you to the competition page and then pin your favorite place in Europe on the interactive map and tell us why you love it. The closing date is August the 30th, so make sure to share your favorite place in Europe. And if you want to find more information related to living, working and studying in Germany, you can follow deutschland.de on Instagram and thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this video and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of my daily life thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye